at Kite Miss Kenny and Kenny family team. My name is Hami Mahani. I'm from Wilmington, Delaware. I'm 41 years old, graduated University of Delaware. And throughout my entire life, sports and physical fitness has been key in everything I've done. Coming out of University of Delaware, I had the background through MBA, through Bank of America, and a very corporate lifestyle. Playing basketball and soccer my whole life, I quickly realized that your body, unfortunately, doesn't stay 25 forever. But after basketball and soccer and even rec leagues as an adult ended, um, what you have in front of you today is a company that I created called 6AM Run. Um, we have a unique brand uh, family of formulas that are catered toward that 25 plus market of people who are in very similar situations as myself. We are a family of runners and I quickly realized that there were no formulas that catered to that niche. Um, and what you see here is 6AM Run, founded in 2018, and in just three years has quickly become, if not right now, the number one su selling supplement for runners. You guys have in front of you the amino blend, which is for amino acids, and I think I want to define that. That is the which, pure- Which color is that? That's the pink one. That is gonna be your amino blend, which uh, if you guys are not familiar, amino acids are your purest form of protein that help rebuild muscle and help rebuild for recovery. What I also found as I got older was I didn't have that energy I used to have. And other pre-workouts and Red Bulls and C4s and other companies that are out there, um, they, they cater to a very younger market. At the time when I created this, I was in my late 30s and I needed something that was not gonna make me you guys kind of use that example when I first walked in, too jacked up, right? Okay. So we use. I don't a, like getting all jittery likes, and not being able no. to sleep at night. I got little ones at home. Right. No, right? and nobody they, likes that. I need sleep. Yeah. So nobody likes that, and that's why we discovered using a natural caffeine, a green tea caffeine, which is in that marathon formula. This and then, tastes excellent. That's yeah, good, yeah. The taste good. is very important. Amino There's acids. There's no sugar in there. Is it what there is sugar. sweetness? There is sugar. There is a. We use a natural, um, low calorie sugar, as you may know, a sucralose in that marathon. Yeah. It's delicious. Thank you. Uh, everything in Marathon is all natural, except I, we can't use the all natural claim on that. So amino acids have, my wife and I, when we cart created the company, they have a very uh, coppery taste on their own. The only way we could get rid of that copper taste was to add an artificial flavoring. So that's the worst thing that's in Marathon. Uh, to combat that, our first and only all natural, all organic, purest, uh, which is now our best seller is which you also have is our super greens we also quickly realized that as an adult uh, you tend to not take vitamins and there's certain things adults older adults need to do on a daily basis that a lot of adults don't do so we created our vitamin based all natural super greens which has your daily vitamins your green intake as well as your iron your fiber and everything that your body just needs on a daily basis that even when you're not working out you would take super greens in two and a half years we've quickly sold over a million dollars in product we have athletes such as floyd mayweather and professional runners now endorsing us and as a delaware-based company i had done this with no help well this uh the green um i've drank quite a few green it drinks tastes bad and it is like sucking down kale through yes. a straw it's just horrible so I'll, this I'll, tastes great we added for a good, green man. drink good. we added we added berries and cranberries uh, and pomegranate to that where did you sell the million dollars so far amazon and online amazon and online so do you um know what your price points have to be in a retail environment so everything we want to keep at um almost all of the bottles you see are at 49.99 online and Amazon, and our trial size packs are t half the size, and they're $29.99 online, with an 80% return user rate. Now I also noticed that when I called up your product, it looks like you are selling throughout the US. Mm -hmm. um, I saw Walmart as well, mm -hmm. is that yes. right? What do you think, coming into six different shop rights, what is, what's your vision of how that, that will go, since you are already uh, a, a US-wide distribution, it sounds like. So Delaware, up until a few months ago, was our worst performing state. And that kind of breaks my heart, being a Wilmington, Delaware native. Um, Delaware should know about us. Uh, my daughter and I, when I see runners and I'm driving her to, she goes to Ursuline Academy right here. When we're driving and you see runners on the side of the road, I joke with her, I'm like, promote your dad, roll down the window, yell 6am run at the runner, right? Um, 
I feel like what we can do being local to the six shop rights, I'd love to come in on a daily basis. One thing we cannot do in any of those platforms you mentioned is give samples, is to let people try. I, I would hope that each one of you tasted it and saw value in just the taste alone okay. and something you would take 15 minutes before an extreme workout. Um, being that we're local and we have a staff of now 10 employees at our warehouse in Wilmington, Delaware, I'd love to have the staff come in on a Saturday morning. I understand COVID has restrictions, but I'd love to give samples. I'd love to work with the shop, right? I think having a storefront, um, and we have not looked into that just yet, um, I can't imagine a better partner being our first storefront. It sounds like your targeted audience is runners, is that right? So it was. Um, okay. I'm, a big, I'm a big marketing person. I, went to University of Delaware for marketing when it wasn't digital. I taught myself digital marketing. You need a niche, I think, to start any business if you want it to be successful. And runners were not marketed to, there was nothing for runners. What we saw when we quickly opened the company the first three months, all triathlete type athletes were buying it. Cycling, swimming, uh, soccer players, parents for high school athletes that had run cross country and do cardio sports. So we definitely have branched out but obviously our, our niche has remained runners, but when someone who does a very cardio focused workout sees us, they pull the trigger. It sounds as though though the, the green tea could be for somebody like me who doesn't run. Is that right? Absolutely. My dad okay. just goes to the YMCA for the sauna. Okay. I make him take greens every day. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get that when I looked at your website though, because sure. I'm like, wow, that's something I can use and it tastes delicious. Sure. We want to have something for everyone. So our vitamin coffee, it's a daily vitamin, mm -hmm. and then our super greens mm -hmm. would be for you. Very nice, thank you. I just started a transformation class. What do you suggest that I take um, for like a pre-workout? What is your immediate goal? Is, is it was just weight loss. Weight I was loss. a former college athlete. I played college football in college. Um, so what would you just suggest I take? Just the sprint, okay. um, based on I'm, I'm gonna your height and weight. Okay. It, 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 the sprint is 200 milligrams of caffeine. Okay. There are no amino acids in this but this will help you power through those classes easily okay. and with this energy that's natural so you don't become addicted to the caffeine. That's what we've noticed about the green tea. Okay. I would for sure take a sprint home. Okay. 15 minutes before the workout, you will power through that like nothing before. But yeah, I'll leave these here for you guys. Right. Please Thank take you, a sprint home and try it Thank and you. let me know what you feel like. I have no problem waiting to see what you guys feel like after taking a full scoop before one of your classes or one of your workouts, okay. absolutely. Uh, they were amazing, very nice, very nice group of people. Wish I, you know, you're so nervous trying to also pitch something you love, your company. So it was, uh, after you get some of the nerves out of the way, they were very welcoming, had great questions. I hope I had the best answers for them. Um, we just now kind of got to wait and see. All right, guys, what do you think of this one? I was definitely impressed. It's a very good presentation. The good part is, uh, he has a good social media following, so if his product is selected to go inside the store, there's a good chance there might be some good amount of foot traffic following because he already has a, a, a good following. Yeah, he, he was very good. You can, again, I do a comparison. Mm -hmm. This candidate absolutely knew all about the marketing and how to get things out. He doesn't have a storefront now, so getting into a shop right will give him that ability to have a storefront but not pay for insurance and workers comp and all of these other things so it could be a real benefit to him you know the only thing i'd like to see is um more of that there is stuff for everyday people if you're not a runner yeah. i didn't really yeah. get that when i looked at his website but maybe yeah. the shop right relationship can sort of give him that yeah. what do you think of the price points I you know, there's it's not hefty. many things in this store that, that are 30 to $50 a pop. You know, that, that's, that's our average basket. I'm not sure this, is, this would resonate. Um, you know, being in ShopRite, I feel like different ShopRites have different dynamics. And perhaps one of them is more of an upscale store where customers may want to pay that. Or perhaps, like, a smaller package, maybe not as big, for the supermarket with half of the ounces and a much cheaper price point. Mm -hmm. I, I typically, you know, um, is concerned about a $50 product here. I, I agree with you. It, he would have to, we'd have to really work at, you know, 
where is that density of social following that, that he says that he has? Where is the expected core market in this immediate area? Is it the North Wilmington uh, runner that, that has that daily routine uh, ingrained in them? I think, you know, we'd have to really focus. I, I'm not sure this is something that rolls out to all six stores we yeah, put on the yeah, shelf because, yeah. you know, it's, it's, the demographics might not fit. Correct. That, uh, Correct. Correct. Okay, anything else? Anything else for the good of the cause? No. no. All right, thank you. Thank you.